So ladies and gentlemen, I need to bust a myth about students these days. It's the myth that Generation Z, it's that generation after the millennials, it's the myth that they're digital natives. That these kids somehow have these great computing skills directly wired into their synapses from birth. Here's the truth though. For all of the time that these kids spend on technology, they're really not that great at computers. And it's strange though, because there's this wildly popular digital native myth, right? These kids, these kids are glued to their gadgets 24 seven. And all that social media and that gaming skill must be translating into great computer skills, right? But the truth is, is that as their devices become more simplified and in many ways sealed, our kids are becoming further and further disconnected from understanding the art and the science of computing. Now I've watched their skills disappear for the past several years, but it really struck me this past August when I was working with a group of incoming seventh graders, digital natives who were having trouble figuring out how to take a file and save it into their home directory. Some of them had no concept of what a file type was, and a few of them were having trouble with closing and opening windows. Now, unfortunately, these low technology skills are not just unique to my school district. The research is telling us that across the country, kids are losing their computer skills. And school board practices amplify this problem. As schools are purchasing tablets instead of computers and simultaneously cutting the budget for elective computer science and technology classes, we're left with a generation that is a tablet and screen tapping generation that is never learning to unlock the true power of technology. So I think we need to do better for our kids and here's how we're changing that story at Penn Manor School District. We've launched a unique one-to-one -one laptop computer program. Every kid in grades seven through 12 receives a laptop loaded with Linux and open source software exclusively. And our kids are trusted with root access on those laptops. That's 2,500 kids unpowered with an unrestrained and unlocked full computing device. Now these laptops are daily instructional companions in the classroom, but with that trust and that openness, we're finding their learning is exploding in ways we never expected. For example, when we first rolled out the program, our kids immediately took to figuring out how to get Spotify running and Netflix playing inside Linux. Now two years ago, you know, <laughs> This wasn't so easily done, right? It was the first time that many of our kids had to get down and gritty with the command line and figure out how to get Netflix working. There was no app install. They had to take a little expedition into a terminal for the first time. And we're seeing all kinds of little surprises. For example, kids experimenting with alternative desktop environments, which is really cool to see. But there's something else really cool that's happening that people didn't expect. We've had zero discipline issues with giving our kids root access. To support this entire project, we've created a unique help desk program. This is a high school course where 21 student apprentices are working side by side with my IT team and I. These kids are providing peer support for their fellow students. They're resolving tickets, they're writing documentation, they're getting out in the classrooms and providing training. They're building excellent IT skills, but more importantly, they're learning how to build a community of tech support for their peers. And there's one other key factor in this program. We don't exclude students based on their rock star technology skills. This course is open to every student, no matter their level of technical expertise. The course prerequisite for our help desk is curiosity. Now again, many of the digital natives are finding they can do this. And for many of them, it's the first time that they've ever thrown together a shell script or replaced a logic board for some of them, it's the first time they ever held a, solder, a soldering iron in their hand. And I think it's these first moments, these first learning moments that to me are so magical and so transformative for our kids. I love to watch when a student realizes for the first time that she can use technology to do her bidding, that she can control the technology, she can use it to rewire her universe. But I think there's a question that we need to wrestle with and school boards and schools need to wrestle with. And it's very simple. And that question is, which side of the command line should our kids be on? Do we pre-wire the learning environments and ask our kids to learn inside a sandbox? Or do we embrace open and give our kids the skills to rewire and change the universe? Thank you.